Hey all, we're doing a um, speed demon version of a course walk. Um, I don't need to walk it all because a lot of it hasn't changed since I was last here. I may walk it all, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll walk it all. Wonderful, it's starting to rain. I'm not going to walk it all properly, I've decided, but I've got one here. I will insert. Two is... Oh, that's a lie too. Maybe I should walk it because I can't even tell where two is. Oh, I see, yeah, two's back corner that you can't actually see uh, on the camera. But it's basically like this one in the left corner you can see, but a bit, a bit smaller. Okay, we missed three, but it's over there. It's one with the pillows on, which I would have just inserted. Uh, we've got four there. Right now. Five is that house. Hey all, um, I'm not going to do too much right now because I think it's a bit windy but hi welcome back to another vlog. Um, haven't had a close-up shot for a while so you're welcome. <laughs> I'm just on a super speed course walk. Um, basically I don't have a lot of time because I've got loads to do this evening. I need to go collect the lorry, Platte Bell, all these sorts of things because we are on at a hideous time tomorrow morning. I'll come back and tell you about that in a minute. So yeah, I know the majority of the course anyway because most of it hasn't changed since um, since we were last here. Hang on. Number six. Now this is a bit I need to walk because I'm not quite sure. I know this bit's changed since we were last here and I'm not quite sure how. So we'll find out. Yes, sorry. So it hasn't changed much since I was here schooling, which is very nice. Um, but there is one main section that's changed, which is the bit I'm about to do now. So just going to have a look at that and just look from afar at the others, just so I know for sure that they're still where I think they are and then leg it and get loads and loads done. So yeah, I'll speak to you all in a bit. So we're going to be coming along here through this gap and sort of nicely funneled into our jump. This is actually in a much nicer location than it was last time because it was sort of on the brow of this hill on a bend last time which is where we had our run out and I was in the same place when I schooled here and we had another run out then so yeah obviously I'll be keeping my wits about me for this one but it's in a much more inviting position at least so we go from here which if you remember last time I had that skinny that I'm about to walk to now so instead of the owl hole down there we're gonna curve around I think we pretty much know this but over it. I'll show you that when I come back to it but yeah not enjoying that so obviously here's eight and then up the lump nicely funneled between these I guess up the lump to nine so I'm not going to walk into this wheel because I know it but nine across through that gap got ten which is slightly moved from where where before but nothing major uh, eleven so you've got on the left here probably do that unless I get up there and really can't figure out where it is but yeah and then we'll come down and then you've got the ditch and the rail I do have one alternative to that as well but I was good with that when we did it before and then right over there I can't do any more you can see the sort of coloured palaces we're going to be the green one over there we're going to start all these jumps in a minute so you can see pictures and then we'll come along opposite direction to where I am now but out of the hedge line over the middle boat, uh, through the water, through this set of flags here, and then we are going to be carrying on around here. Now, oh god, I've seen some dressing on not this fence and hips one, that one, but oh, that's interesting, but I notice it's not on the front at least. Um, 
to jump anyway, I'll stop looking around and show you when we get near it because there's been more today. Sorry, I know this is going to be windy, but here we sit seeing now. This is what I've been dressed in. I've not ever seen them put that on before. Ours is slightly less mental. Actually, the 90s got the worst dressing, which is a bit harsh. Anyway, this is our one. Now, I don't know if you can really tell here, but it sort of feels like this is a drop down. Oh no, you know what? It's not as much of a drop down. Oh, gosh, let me zoom out. Not as much, it's not a drop like it was before, because again, this was right on the brow of this hill, so it actually was a little bit of drop. So they do have this, obviously, cover that hasn't been on before. It's flapping a little bit, so that is something to bear in mind. Hopefully, that won't mind it. Then we're off over there to the hay carts. I'm not going to walk over there. And then we come round, and I believe one fence here somewhere uh, and then the end which is this one <laughs> where that person is or there is just the end so I'll take back what I said on the last one it's just the hay carts over there and then this one here and we are finished through the finish line and you know cry with joy so not that it's particularly relevant to us because we're not going to be competitive, but it, this is a Cotswold Cup um, event. So that's the first time we've had it down this neck of the woods. So that's exciting, perhaps for the future. feels like about jumping animals so we'll see. strides so we'll just see how gung ho bell's feeling might shoot when it's three um okay six I'm gonna be naughty and not walk the route i should but seven maybe eight jumps how lovely god well that's a real treat isn't it oh no it's not actually because then there's one at the end that i don't really like the look of so here we've got number seven that's what we've got to jump Polos are probably one of Belle's favourite treats, but they've been a nemesis of mine. Uh, if you've seen older vlogs, when I did arena venting, we fell off in arena venting because there was a big polo filler filling like over the top of a hole, nothing to do with the course, and we fell off. And obviously we're eliminated. And now the last jump is a nice polo filled filler at the end. So yeah, not super in love with that, but have to kick on and uh, look at those trees. Look at that tree. Uh, so I'm looking up and not into the filler. Left rain on because she loves to run out right. She always runs out right. And uh, fingers crossed. We've just got that and the uh, the dogs look a bit dodgy as a filler as well. Otherwise, it looks quite nice. And there's only nine jumps. So just keep up. Morning, all. Um, sorry about the haziness. We are on the front camera of my broken phone. So. Yeah, just a quick good morning, just while I'm waiting to get my sister. We are headed off this morning to Munstead for a unaffiliated one day event. And it is my very first 
80 uh, one day event. It's only my second ever one day event at all. Um, I did a 70 with Belle, uh, not last year, the year before, I think maybe. Um, or was it last year? No, maybe it was last year. I can't remember, but yeah, a while ago. So um, yeah, really looking forward to it. We're just going for the experience really. Um, the course looks nice in terms of it's quite similar to when I schooled there, so that always helps cross country wise. Uh, the show jumps look okay. I'll, um, I walked it yesterday, but I'll obviously insert all that. There's a couple of fillers there that aren't looking super nice. Um, yeah, dressage will be what it will be. Um, we're not going to be competitive because our dressage still really is quite rubbish. And um, I, this is my own fault, I haven't took her out much to do dressage at all really so I think she'll find it all quite exciting and we probably won't get the work that we get at home but I think I remember the test it's a bit of a weird one this is um, a Cotswold Cup uh, qualifier so it's Cotswold Cup test and um, it's just a bit weird like you go do a half 20 meter circle and then you go H to M just you're not changing the rain you just do that which seems really pointless but yeah um so you do that you do k to f at one point as well so there's no free walk um which is a real shame because that is where we get high marks when we do dressage bell has a really really nice free walk um we tend to get eights uh, for that so that's a shame because it's usually doubles points as well so we claw back some scores there but yes anyway uh, it's not what it's about so um, I'm just hoping we have a good day if we go double clear I'm gonna be absolutely overjoyed um, I feel like I've been a bit cursed recently um, had a car accident as I mentioned in the last vlog then I last last week's vlog um, at South of England we had a freak fall in the warm-up where Belle just slid and fell over. I shut my thumb in the door. So yeah, I just feel a bit cursed. I'm really hoping that is over now. Sorry, cut off there. So um, yeah, just a little bit worried that I might be cursed, but potentially the curse lifted last weekend with the result we had. So um, yeah, I'm just hoping that that was the end of it. But it's definitely a niggle in my mind. Um, but yeah, we're just hoping for a really nice day, good experience. Hopefully I ride okay. And um, so you can ask for really. So now I've just got to the yard. Sorry, I've got a cup of tea. Um, just basically need to feed Belle. Um, put her travel stuff on. Oh, it's a bit dark in here. And load up and then go get our friend who's at another yard. And then we'll head there. But yeah, we'll, it's all going to be over by half 10 which is a bit crazy our dressage is at 8:42. um show jumping's about 40 minutes after if i remember right and then cross country is pretty quick after that so yeah luckily it's a really nice morning um so that helps with this early wake up but anyway i've got to get on and do stuff um otherwise we are going to be late um show you the show jumping and everything charlie by the way we're in for the day yeah so jump in. We're currently walking up to dressage um, to warm up. I don't know why I've gone this way. I really could have gone the short way. I think I'm going to go the short way. Off she goes. Bye bye. Okay, so we're on our way to the dressage. I don't know if you can even hear me. It's very windy. Um, to the dressage warm up. It's very quick turn around and get on. It's a very early morning. I'm really not here for it to be honest with you. I'm not getting paid, honestly. How is this right? Um I am groom for the day. I'll show you the dressage warm up in the ring. It's eight it's eight thirty. They have she has twelve minutes to warm up. That's not very long. Oh dear. That's okay. We'll be fine. Oh, through there. Well, I guess I feel like I'm gonna get run over in a minute. But yeah, um, let's get warming up. There she is. So there's one and a half horses. So there's one horse in there at the moment. 
than one Alex. So it's very quick one more Alex. Could actually be better for Belle because I mean she hasn't got time to get excited. Yesterday, no, I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay. So tell me what you want. Hey, y'all. So I'm not gonna bore you with the whole test because it's not that great to watch, but just wanted to pop on i've got the sheet i won't say what our score is but yeah overall i was happy with this test she was actually the most relaxed pace wise than i've ever had with her before um to be honest we just didn't warm up long enough so i really didn't have any expectations or hope for um getting her working nicely through so that's completely on me and i can't expect more from Belle in that front but that's probably why I'm even more so quite happy and okay with this test. Um, in general we got sixes and fives, five and a halfs. Um, most of the comments were just above the bit obviously not on the contact tents, all quite obvious. Um, better can transition, more balance. Um, says she jogged in the walk. I don't remember seeing that but anyway um that's fine and the only bit i was a bit sad about was just the what they said about the whole um we were only marked to six and it said close behind which i think it's a bit odd to me we look square um but anyway the co comments were just elastic paces but above bit throughout obviously once able to work in around a frame, marks will improve. But yes, I am definitely aware of that. However, for me and Belle, this was an improvement for us going out. So hopefully that will carry on. I should be paid in food today because every time I come to a one day event with this gal, it tips it down. Dresses went well. She kept a lid on herself, uh, the horse. So that's good. She was calm, collected. Well, calm. <laughs> no, no, it was good. It was a good dressage. Well, um, now onto the jumping, which is more their speed. So two double clears. One for hopefully, well, we're manifesting. Double clear for Bell, double clear for Lady. Then that will be a good day out. No, we're not mind for coming. But if she gets eliminated now, that's it. Never again. I'm basically doing the vlog for Alex now because apparently I'm a pro. And she hasn't, I don't know if she's really talked to you or talked to you yet. So you can let me, the group. God, I look tired. Because I am. Look at five o'clock in the summary. And like five o'clock in the morning. There she goes. She could have made that shape in there. Honestly, Belle. <laughs> so, dressage prediction. Yeah. yeah. 30. Oh, you're way more positive than me. Um, <laughs> I am probably, I'm thinking 40 or above, to be honest. So, um, yeah, we're below 40. <laughs> It's what it, like, I'm not going to be an idiot and be positive that's <laughs> delusional, like it's just, yeah, that's what I think it is. Um, she was had a nice calm rhythm, um, but also, if anything, we almost lacked impulsion, but it's the fine line between that and um, and then, you know, too much. So I don't mind that. I thought um, she was listening to me at least, so that's good. Um, canter work felt quite nice, actually, uh, especially the first one. Um, yeah, it was fine. I don't know if we had a square hole. It felt okay. I'm not really sure. Um, so yeah, it was all. It's fine. Like we've had way worse tests. Um, she wasn't screaming the whole time. I didn't have to get led into the arena, which has happened before. That was our first, other one-day event. So yeah, I'm alright about it. I'm really like everyone's saying I'm being negative. I'm fine. I don't. Like, that's that's fine for me. So uh, yeah. Now, as you can see, hang on, I'm gonna flip this around. Yeah, as you can see, the weather is grim. So like the vibe of being here in general is not. Uh, not that high <laughs> we're regretting our life choices but um yeah so now just show jumping 
um, which I think we've got like probably 25 minutes for, and then it will be over soon and we'll be <laughs> sad about it. So uh, yeah, enjoy it while, we, while it lasts. So we are about to show jump. I just wanted to walk her over to the polo jump that I was worried about. Um, I saw, I can't remember whose vlog it was in actually, but someone's instructor saying about walking them across the front of it rather than straight into it. So it doesn't encourage them to be stopping at things. But anyway, we headed off. Um, I had to be quite proactive on that first one. She felt a little bit like she was backing off. And then here she really sort of stutters. Um, so she really had a look at fence too and in general she was just spooky the whole way round but I think the rhythm was quite nice especially there I'm happy with that she has a look last minute again there just at the filler but I'm pleased with how I rode her through and the second one rode a lot nicer obviously we're on the wrong leg so I do just a quick actually that's a lie it's not a quick change of leg I bring her back to trot and I should have be quicker changing there um, so that's something to keep mindful of for the next time we're out. But these three all rode really nicely. The double was good. Here she was not going as far out as I would have liked. So this is not a line I would have chosen, not very central. Here she really was shying at the big, there's a commentator's box there. But again, we got through it, over it, didn't knock it down. And then the last one, very pleased I kept my eyes up and we went over. Really? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, so we have done our dressage. <laughs> Maybe's falling asleep. And I apologise now because last vlog I had a mic and it was all like tech and now I have got my mic so I just haven't had a minute to put them on. So back to old school yelling at the camera but um, yeah we had our dressage. Um, I mentioned that earlier it was all right like Think if anyone watches this channel they'll know we're not very good at dressage we do try and we're getting slowly better at home but just coming out we don't really get that so um i think we got i was closest to the prediction so 40 point something um, uh yeah 40.1 i think something yeah. like that so, yeah that's fine i mean it would have been lovely to be under 40 but yeah i everyone's saying i was negative i was right so um yeah i think i haven't seen the, the sheet or anything but Potion, I imagine, obviously, suppleness working through really that's going to be comments. And then um, I think that's fairly accurate, but the end, Charlie said I might have been a bit off the center line as well, so I don't know about the whole either. But that's that. Um, and we've done our show jumping and we had a nice clear round, which I'm really, really pleased about because um, she had a look at a few. She had a look at the first one, then had quite a look at the second one. Um, I've been seen around by now, but. Um, this is how it feels for me. Uh, yeah, so I'm really pleased with my riding actually, um, which I don't say very often, if at all. Um, yeah, it was a bit messy from my part. I know I got left behind a little bit, but I was being quite uh, behind the movement safety mode because she just felt quite spooky. Um, and I was a bit annoyed at her in a way coming into the Cotswold Cut one because she just was not listening to my inside leg. Um, so I would have rather have done that line differently. Um, so that's something we would need to work on at home because that's happened twice out now. Um, and yeah, the polos at the end, which I was terrified about, were all right. So um, really, really pleased with that. And now it's not raining. This is another reason why I haven't vlogged that much because it has been hideous. Um, and I'll get on again now and then we'll go warm up and do some cross country. So technically the fun bit, which I'm just reminding myself, and then it's all gonna be over very shortly, which is weird, but um, Charlie put my thumb up, that's nice. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. You can't see me very well, which is okay, if you don't mind that. Um, so, just warming up for cross country. Um, I've positioned myself to get the best filming possible. Um, happy, happy with dressage. Uh, very happy with show jumping. Got around clear. And now we're going to get another clear show, uh, cross country. Manifesting it. Um, because I did not wake up at 4.30 in the morning to not see her go and get a double clear. Hey pretty baby, am I in your way? Cause you walked out so fast yesterday. No, I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay.
say So tell me what you want Tell me how you want it Tell me all the reasons that you're running away I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay No, no, no I just wanna be with you I just wanna be with you
that happened before. I do apologise if the sound is awful. I, obviously, I bought these microphones and then I just did not have the time or wherewithal to uh, put them on and, and get using them today. So, yeah, it was just old school talking to the camera. Um, hopefully that's okay. And, yeah, I just want to say I'm really happy. I'm really pleased with her. Um, we just completed our first BE... Well, sorry. BE course, but it wasn't a BE event. We just completed our first 81 day event, um, which has been something on my bucket list for such a long time. And really wasn't that long ago that I thought... Um, doing an AC cross country was just never going to happen. Uh, so this little horse just took me around that, um, which I'm really, really proud about. I, it's only my second ever one day event with her, third in total, and my first one at this height. It's also the first time I've done an AC individual cross country. Um, so yeah, not a first. And considering that, really, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Um, I think, as I mentioned before, Slightly bummed about one of the runouts. Um, I feel just a bit unlucky with that. I'm not really sure why that happened at the chest. Um, but yeah, the one before with the rails, I definitely think it was a case of just a lot going on there. She was looking at everything but the jump, um, which was the main issue I had with her today, actually, was just little concentration on the jumps. I almost felt every jump bust us out. She's like, oh, like looking over here and I had to give her a little tap on the shoulder every time we're like hey jumps here so yeah that's something I've learned from today um which is a new experience but the weather was awful it was really windy um cope well with that really she was definitely spookier than uh she has been for a while uh with the show jump in particular uh it wasn't a pretty round as such but definitely got it done I'm pleased with my riding as well, which is unusual. So, um, yeah, all in all, I'm really happy. Um, obviously, it would have been nice to have got the double clear, of course. Um, but even just the one run out would have been okay. I am a little sad about two, but it is what it is. I've learned loads from it. Um, already seen there's some lovely photos, so it's worth doing now if for no other reason. Um, yeah, so just going to get these out. <coughs> which is proving kind of tricky and then get her out in the field and she can relax for the rest of the weekend um but i'm really proud of her she had a really good attitude um and you know looked out. i think we worked well together apart from i know we had some blips but i think for the most part we did work well together and i really felt like i was actually riding and not a passenger for once so that's quite a big thing for me too um but that's it really i should mention that the Clear show jumping so a little bit consistent now, two weeks out in a row and two clears at that, which we've been really inconsistent with show jumping, so that's really, really nice. Um, hopefully that continues. Um, but yeah, really happy. Um, major milestone ticked off, so that's very, very cool. Um, super grateful to my mum for helping out with the plaiting. Uh, well, she did it, she didn't help out, and she mucked Bella out for me and everything while we've been away. And but, um, my sister was a legend for getting up at like 5 a.m. this morning. For an event that she wasn't even riding at, so yeah, I really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope it's not too noisy and windy. I'm really sorry, I feel like the audio is not going to be great. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed coming along to our first ever 81 day event, and um, hopefully there'll be many more. Um, I don't know about this year because there's just not that many events on, um, unaffiliated especially. We're in June now, so season's not got long left, but yeah, we'll see. Definitely some hunter trials. I'd like to try and do um, a vintage challenge as well, if, there, if we see any. Um, so yeah, otherwise, thanks. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I don't really give a damn what they say. And now you know, now you know it.